Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Nick Eaton from the 4554 Podcast, also 45 Live now and Merchant a Minute on YouTube. What's going on, Joe? I got Joe Clay here, Mr. Merch University. Hey, uh, everything's going good, man. Things are going great. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah. What you yeah, got up today, man? Oh, I know I'm we've been just, talking uh, about this for a while. Yeah, man. Uh, today, man, I've just been... Uh, Making some designs and uh, just messing around, playing on Illustrator and stuff, and so yeah, you know, just a normal day. So, you know what? I still I I have Illustrator and I never use it, I, and I haven't used it the entire time I've been <laughs> uh, doing graphic design. Like never. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't use it every day, but um, man, I, I I like to use it. Like if I need to really just want to do something, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just check it out. You know, so yeah, I love it. Yeah, I was looking. I saw the uh, the email from Neil about the uh, the new designer in Merchant Form. I hadn't checked that out yet, though. Um, I got to check it out a little bit, but uh, that's it. I really haven't got to play a lot with it. But yeah, it seems okay. Seems like it seems. I, I've actually I asked a lot of people in the um, the group. Oops, actually, actually, a lot, I asked a lot of people in the group, and they some said they they tried it and stuff. So that's good. Cool, cool. I'm gonna give it a try. I, I sent it to. I have a, a, a student now um, that I'm working with. Uh, she just got in merch. She got in merch after like three days, and um, so I've just been kind of coaching her through because she's actually starting her brand. Like her, her she's going from the very beginning a, a clothing line brand. So I'm just kind of walking her through the whole process and everything. She's got a, a marketing background. So like she's worked with a lot of big brands. So this is her first time kind of really you know, going out on her own. So I'm just kind of walking her through the print on demand process of it. So, but uh, I think oh, she'll be sweet. good. I think she'll Dang, be good. that's cool. That's cool. Um, hopefully, yeah, start your own brand. That that sounds sounds like a good deal. Yeah, I, I mean, I figure, hey, at this point in the game, you know, especially with all the changes in merch, you know, I think it's good that she's kind of going from the gate, like she's pushing external traffic, building an email list, you know, the whole nine. So I'm, you know, I'm proud of her. Yeah, golly, yeah. Let's check out the chat here. I see we got American Yesteryear. What's going on? And, of course, Jeff, uh, everybody make sure you go to Jeff Davidson on YouTube and subscribe to his channel. <laughs> He's telling us to get a job. Get job, Deadbeats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's crazy. Oh, he's, uh, he's, uh, is this the new merch talk? <laughs> no, this is not. You can never replace merch talk. You know, so, okay, for anybody, yeah, for anybody who's familiar uh, with my podcast, 4554 Podcast, I've been talking for a while where I wanted to do something where I was still bringing in guests. But the way I record, man, I record crazy. Like, sometimes I record a podcast at, like, 2 in the morning and, you know, edit it right then and, and throw it up at, like, 6 in the morning. So, I wanted to do something where this was completely separate from the podcast, but it was still, you know, merch center, print on demand center, and, and you know, bring some real value. I didn't want, originally I was going to just put the podcast onto YouTube. And then I was like, you know what? No, let me do something completely different, something completely separate. So you're not going to see anything from, you're not going to hear the podcast on YouTube and you're not going to see 45 live on, you know, on the podcast. It's just not going to, I'm not going to do that. Like I just want, unique content in all the outlets and so that that's what it is but we can't replace merch talk yeah. you know this i'm looking forward to merch talk you know every week you know you guys created a monster. <laughs> how that kind of how that started was um i was talking to margaret a long time ago and i was like hey i would let me interview you or let's just go online and talk merch and then we're like all right like all right let's do it again the next week and then the next week and then let's bring uh she's like she said Let's bring Jeff on. This guy, Jeff. I'm like, who's Jeff? I'm like, all right, let's bring him on. And then Jeff joined. I'm like, I'm not like, I'm like, let's just keep Jeff on every week. And so he he stayed on. And then uh, Margaret's like, let's bring Chris on. I'm like, who's Chris? And he was on. And uh, he's like, let's just keep Chris on every week, too. And so we just kept going. <laughs> hey, but you know what? It's an all-star team, man. Like, seriously, it's an all-star team. Like, I, like a, you guys – put a lot of value out, you know, and, and I tell people all the time, you know, hey, if you're trying to figure it out, because, you know, with the podcast, I mainly talk with lower tier people, you know, yeah. 10 to 500 tier 
it's usually the people that I'm talking to uh, when I'm talking about it. So I think what you guys do with Merch Talk kind of bridges that gap, especially for people who are, you know, nearing the end of the 500 tier, getting towards a thousand and they're really trying to push it because now they have the space to scale and different things like that. So I, I think it, it just it's kind of a natural fit. I think that's why I enjoy being on there so much. Yeah, it, it's cool, too, because like it seems it, it seems like kind of like me, Jeff and Margaret and Chris, we're all kind of like around the same tiers. You know, one might be higher or lower or. And it, we're all kind of like right there and like together. So it kind of, you could, you you've, if you've watched the channel for a long time, you could see us grow, you know, and how far, where right. we come and how we're celebrating like, oh, we are, we're at a thousand here now. And now, now we're at 2000 and now I'm at 4,000, you know? So, I mean, you can watch that growth. So it's kind of cool. Well, you know, I, uh, I, I kind of been, I guess a Netflix binge watch kind of thing. Cause I, I went back to the very first merch talk and I've just been kind of, you know, going forward <laughs> since then. So like catching it from the very beginning and, you know, going over everything again. Because, I mean, there's still some great information out there. Like, even on yeah. the old shows, man, and, and for everybody that's watching, you know, we all put out content about merch. And merch is going to change. You know, it's going to continuously change. But you can go back and you get some great content off of some of the original shows and you know, it's, I see how much merch has changed just from me starting the podcast and even from me starting merch in a minute, but some of that value is still great. Like it's, it's certain things that are going to always go, especially when it comes to just print on demand overall. So I would encourage everybody, if you're not, uh, subscribe to Margaret's channel, uh, please do so. Texas Gal Treasures, also subscribe to Joe's channel. I've got all of Joe's links down here and I want to talk today because what I wanted to make sure that 45 Live did was provided real value. Like we can sit, we can, you know, Joe, you can, I can sit there and talk shop about merch all day, but mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that what we did provided real value. So I want to talk about your new website, Merch You Designs. So tell us a little bit about it. You know, I know you've had it up and running for a while now, but for people that aren't, you know, tuned into it just yet, please let everybody know what it's about and what you've got going on and how it kind of uh, differentiates from some of the other sites that are out there. Kind of like what Merch You Designs, it kind of relate. The reason why I started that is because in uh, the Merch University Facebook, um, we, we are I'm always like, you know, it's more about helping people. And that's kind of the whole reason I started to, to join the community together to help learn from each other. And so if um, it will, I'll always talk about different niches in there and stuff. So I'm talking about all these different niches. So now I've made that site so I can it can kind of like relate to each other and I can ma start making those designs for people who have no way to make designs, who have you know no resources and who are maybe just beginners or maybe who are in higher tiers and um, who could just come over there and be like, oh, this is what Joe was talking about the other day. And look, he already has some design and just grab and go and upload. And, you know, everybody's so busy working full time jobs and, you know, kids, family, er you know, everything in the world. You know, we're, all, we're always everybody's busy. So this is just something you can go if you see something, just grab it and go. And um, I try to keep it um, updated. It's just me. Uh, running it and um, I do have a little bit of help um, with of a designer a couple of designers and some other people but yeah just just trying to um, upload every day there and just you know one or two designs a day if I can if more if I can do more but yeah just just always trying to add some value there and so it's going it's going good I've been getting a lot of uh, good reviews from people saying hey uh, you know I've been selling your designs have been selling so I was like hey I, that's good man that's great and I just keep uploading them so I, I love that's the reason why I started Merchy Designs. Definitely. And I've checked out the site. I haven't bought one yet. Full disclosure, I am going to buy. I have uh, I have to get over myself when it comes to that, because it's like I'll see uh, I'll say, OK, I need to buy some designs because I haven't had a lot of time lately. Like I, yeah. I and I hate it, but I haven't had a lot of time lately. So I was like, OK, I need to outsource some designs. I was like, OK, if I'm going to outsource. I'm going to go with Joe. You know, I know Joe, you know, the designs that sell like I, if anybody saw or was a part of your cell 10 group they know like or anybody that was part of your patreon they know like if nothing else it's like look joe's gonna make something that's gonna sell something like i, I remember um about a year ago you did a contest in merch university and if, guys if you're not in merch university on facebook please go join but um you did like a contest and and 
it was a random number that you threw out and I won. And um, I'll tell it, you know, I don't, I don't mind telling people. Um, he was like, oh, well, what niche do you want? Because I got a free design. And I just, off the top of my head, I was like, you know what? Movie critic. And then what you sent me, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I had to look up, actually. And I was like, you know, that's great. I was like, but hey, I'll give it a try. And I, yeah. I'll be honest, I didn't think it was going to sell because it was such a sub niche of it. I was thinking, you know, maybe I, he was just going to give something like generic or, you know, and and damn it, the thing didn't sell. It sold a few times. Like it, it's still like it. I think the last time it sold was four weeks ago, four or five weeks ago. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. I, and I would have never thought to go that route with it. But <laughs> hey, I mean, so I, um, I would definitely endorse your design services. Um, I, yeah, you, yeah. Now that you're talking about that um, merch tier 10 that I did, um, what I did, I was, uh, the reason I, how I started that, because I'm like, um, I, I when I did the merch tier 10 series, I, I just took my own account, which I was already at the 1,000 or 2,000 tier, and I just made, I said, okay, I'm going to make 10 shirts, and um, I sold those 10 shirts, with, and, and I got a lot of, like, pushback on that. They were saying, like, that's your account, and you're at the thousand tier and so that's the reason why those 10 shirts have already sold and you sold 10 right away and so i mean you're that's not true because why, why aren't my other shirts why aren't the other right. six, six or seven hundred shirts selling you know and so i'm like that's not true so i was like all right i'm gonna find a um i i, talk, I got a friend a co-worker a, my brother and my brother-in-law all get accounts they all got approved and i go all right i'm gonna help you guys and so they they haven't really even did nothing till today except for me i i uploaded it on all four of their all four of their um platforms and I, and now they're one's on the 500 tier and one's on the 100 tier i got them all past uh uh tier 10 i got them all past the to 100 in like two weeks all four accounts and wow. um and uh actually right now i think um I, I, when I look back at it now, out of those four accounts, they have over like three or four hundred sales together. Just from and actually, I'm like, those are all my designs. When I look back on, it, I'm like, man, that's four hundred. That's four hundred sales I could have had, you know. <laughs> but you know, it's it's for my friends and coworkers and relatives. Right. So I'm more than w welcome to help them because that's the I'm the reason I'm wanted them to get started on it because I know the you know the possibilities with this platform. So, but even on uh, my Patreon, I had some this one guy he joined. And um, he joined to get past the tier 10 and um, I gave him like one design and he said, oh man, Joe, the first week I already sold like 20 of these. I'm like, what? I'm like, all right, whatever, man. <laughs> I was like, all right, that's cool. And he, he was like, you know, I'm going to get out of the, the you know, because the, the Patreon's in levels. And I think that one, that, that Patreon tier 10 was for, it's $40 a month. He's like, I'm going to get out this first month, man. But, you know, just, and I'm like, man, you're, hey, yeah, do it because, you're already on the 25 to be in now. That's the whole purpose of this tier 10 program, me helping you out. Hey, 40 bucks, you know, I gave him 10 designs and, um, you know, hey, he's well, just one of those designs got him out of the tier 10 in like a week. So, hey, more power to you, man. Right. And you know what? And, you know, I think I look at the 10 tier a little bit different than everybody else. And I think it's because I, I kind of came from the, the FBA world. And so, I think people look at the 10 tier and you definitely want to get out because you want more spots, obviously, but you still have to look at it like you've got 10 ASINs available. Um, that's not including the variations, uh, but you got 10 ASINs prime eligible on Amazon. Like it, there are sellers on Amazon that only have three or four ASINs. They're making thousands of dollars a month. You know, and, and it, the same could be said on the merch side. If you look at someone like Mike Gall, it just depends on how you how you flip it. But I mean, I, I, I get the, the the anxiety of wanting to get out because, you know, we see in the other groups and, and even in, in, in Merch University, you see the people and they've got, you know, oh, I just hit the 10,000 tier. I'm on the 14,000 tier. And I think uh, I think it was young. I think they were talking to Michael. Essick. It wasn't Michael Essick. They were talking. Somebody was talking to Michael Essick and he was like, he's on the. 20,000 tier or something like that. I was like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Just to, to think that I could possibly have 20,000 listing on merch. Even if I just, if, if I sell a tenth of that, 
<laughs> per month. Like I'm still, yeah, I'm good, yeah, you know. Totally. You know. And just just to th just to throw this out there, what I was doing um, and what I still do is I was just going to for my, those four accounts that I was working on. Um, I would just go to Amazon to do my research, and um, what I would type in was like I would just type in like the letter I. Like um, I think a lot of shirts that people come to Amazon for have to do with like emotion and they, they want to show up like I am this or I am that or whatever. And, and so what I would do, what I type in is like I, and then I would put like space bar and then I put like just a, and if you do that, man, you'll just see a list of auto suggestion uh, phrases just come up mm -hmm. like crazy. And so I would look at those phrases and, um, and actually, I, I'll give you guys one. Um, this is one I put in I and P. If you do that, it'll say, um, go look at one of those phrases. And one of those phrases that comes up has been selling for me for uh, probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 times. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. But go push I, <laughs> Dad, or space bar and P. One of those phrases that pops up, it still pops up. I put that on a shirt. It's just a text-based phrase. Man, I'm like, this is the, and I made that text-based phrase, and like, man, that shirt just started selling like crazy, and it still sells. So I'm just like, oh my gosh. But that's all I do. I push I, spacebar, P. I mean, you could think of other words, other letters, and just start messing with that, that Amazon search bar, that research, and it'll bring up all the phrases that people are searching for, and then you just make your own designs off of those, off of those ideas. Right. Now, now you bring up an, a, a very interesting point, and you give a lot. You know, you when I first got into merch, everything was, oh, my gosh, don't show your designs. Don't say anything about your designs. Don't <laughs> don't don't do anything because people will steal your stuff. Well, guess what? I did. I didn't do any of that. And people still stole my stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> I think what kind of drew me to and, and, and I can say this. I've been a graphic designer almost 20 years. Well, actually, it's been over 20 years now. But transitioning from doing flyers and billboards and, and dioramas and things like that to doing t-shirts was difficult for me because it, it's regardless of your experience you still do, it doesn't necessarily translate into a t-shirt that will sell so when i first got in you know i told you i did a lot of my i took my best sellers from red bubble and teespring and i put them on merch because i was like they sold there they're definitely going to sell here and they didn't sell squat <laughs> but, you know, and I was like, OK, I, I got to be doing something. I have to do something different. And when I joined Mercy University, when, I'll never forget the post. You were like, hey, take a, you know, any random shirt that you sold just once, post a link and, let's, you know, we can all kind of take a look at it and, and, and give critiques on, you know, the design that just just kind of give it a once over. It was almost like a hot seat kind of thing. And I was like, you know what? Nobody else would do that. No other group would do that. And because yeah. of it, it helped me like, OK, this is what I was doing wrong, you know, and, and it kind of helped trigger me into doing better designs, using the better process. But in addition to that, I, I felt like it kind of validated my designs or, or, or validated what I was looking for, because I think a lot of times people will think, oh, this is a good shirt, but I don't have a basis for comparison. You know, yeah. so what makes you do you like you do you just operate a little bit different even with merch you designs like if you go to the other sites sometimes they'll charge a, a monthly subscription for you to even see what type of shirts you're getting so you don't know if you're going to have good designs until you've already paid them twenty dollars and that's nothing against any other site that's out there selling designs don't get yeah. me wrong because I, I i i've done the subscriptions to those before but you're a lot more open than other people are on merch and like what's the motivation behind it like what makes you be so open with people I mean, it's just, it goes back from like the beginning when I started and I, I always wanted help. And I'm like, uh, okay, what does, like, just what you said when you jumped into it, like, hey, can you just show me like what a design looks like? I don't want to copy your design, but how, what's the style? What's the format? What's the, what, how does it look, you know? And um, so that's kind of reason why I share so much and I'm open to share designs all the time. And I'm um, actually now, I mean, you can't really throw up a, pixel for pixel copy on Amazon because um, you'll you'll get uh, rejected. I know that for sure because uh, me and a partner uh, put up the same shirt a long time ago. We, we collaborated on it and it, it stayed up for a while. But once Amazon came up with that new rule, 
one of us, our shirts was going to be rejected and it was his and not mine. But, uh, you know, we wrote Amazon and said, hey, no big deal. And they were like, no problem. So I know they're not going to copy it. So um, I don't mind sharing ideas and just doing it because nobody, the reason why is because nobody else does that. Mm -hmm. Nobody else is so open to share. And, and the reason why you can see all the designs on uh, Merchie Designs is because, you know, hey, you know, go and look at it. You know, you want to kind of see what I always like to see what I'm going to buy before I buy it, you know. And right. so and, you, and here's another thing, like um, you, people might come on the site and, you know, sometimes we might look at the design and go, it doesn't look right or doesn't i don't know you don't know but you know what some of the crappiest designs sell the most and yeah. so like i've i've had people show me their designs and i'm like you sold 500 of those how is that possible i mean like that's like a kindergarten work you know i mean how is that even possible but um yeah i never know what's gonna sell when people send me shirts and they want me to critique them i don't never critique the design i just critique their keywords right I'm like, absolutely I'm like that. That this, this design's crappy, but hey, it it's all your keywords and stuff and your titles and stuff. That's what's going to sell it. And if people are looking and the people are looking for that niche, um, they're going to buy it because um, just think of this. Say say like you have like a favorite hobby, and um, you you go out to go find a shirt, and um, you, there's only one shirt up there that's your favorite hobby. You're probably more than likely going to buy that, you know. And it's just because that shirt's out there and it's not made. Uh, regular retail stores don't make it. They don't sell it. But hey, merch sells it. I'm gonna buy it. I right, mean, absolutely. Because I relate to it. That's my hobby. It's my favorite hobby. I'm gonna buy it. And so, it, even if it just looks decent, I'm gonna buy it. And so, that's what you have to work. That's what that's what you have to think about. Like, okay, I'm gonna make this shirt and this knee shirt, and then I'm gonna put it up, and then. Um, and that's why we put all these designs up and, and actually um, all the designs we put up is like research. So we've, I've already researched it. And so from just the research, I'm like, okay, people are looking for this type of stuff. So I think they're going to buy it. And so it's, it's just like those uh, bundles I put out, those graphic bundles, that surfing, uh, the surfboard one and mm -hmm. the sunset one. If you look now on Amazon, people are buying those shirts. I mean, there's just one, it's like a, sunset and it says hawaii on it and i think it says 2018 that i found researching and uh i'm like that is so simple and so now if you want to go buy those bundles hey you can make you know you could take just one because i think you get like not i give you 19 sunsets but just one of them you could put hawaii australia fiji i mean every island you can think of on just one you could make thousands of those shirts and stuff yeah. so but it, and then I, I even went went along and did some research and said, hey, these are the top beat shirts names that people are buying. And I just gave that away for free. Uh, it's in the file section on Merch University. So, yeah, I mean, it really doesn't matter. I mean, the designs uh, don't matter, really. I think it's all about the keywords and stuff. Yeah, I agree. Like, my biggest seller, and it, it blows my mind to this day, my biggest seller is one word, three letters, in bold old English text. And I've wow. sold 424 of those shirts to date. It, oh my gosh. It blows my mind. And I never would have thought like, and I didn't think it was gonna sell. I didn't think what, it was gonna sell. It, what, that's awesome. Yeah, so it is, and, and it, get, it kills me because I'm like, okay, all this time I spend doing all these graphic designs and I'm just like, okay, this is the one that sold or like the majority of the ones that have sold are ones that I've done on my phone. And I don't have the over app because I'm, I'm an Android user. And so yeah. I use Level Pit Plus. And so it's very just basic text designs I'll do in there. I'll resize them in Photoshop. And, th and those are my biggest sellers. Uh, American Yesteryear says, don't tell that to Yon. <laughs> 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 you know what? I understand exactly where Young is coming from because it's like you, you do get a little upset sometimes and, and you just kind of have to get yourself out of it. But you'll see, uh, Jeff, I'm not telling you the first two letters, but, uh, <laughs> you know, you'll see uh, all these designs that are selling and you have spent years and years perfecting this graphic design craft. But I think the thing that people need to get into the habit of realizing it's just like you said, this is research. I mean, this is a lot of R&D 
you know, the design is almost secondary in, in a lot of cases. Uh, so yeah. it, it really is about the research. You can have a great design, but if your keywords suck, then you're going to have a great design that'll be down in 90 days. Like, That's true. You know, so I, you know, I just, so what, what type of tools do you use? Do you just go through Amazon and then use Illustrator and over? Uh, I use Illustrator over. I use the vintage app a lot. I like that. Um, I use make merch a lot. Um, I like make yes, merch because um, it has like a, this event, uh, vintage effect. And so I'll make a design and then um, I'll either make a design on um, make merch and then I'll have like the regular, just no problems, just so, like solid. And then I'll put the vintage effect on it. Like there's just two or three effects that I really like. And so I can make like one out of one shirt, I can make like four shirts. And then um, another thing, I'll, um, another thing, I'll turn an illustrator, I'll just throw it back in uh, make merch because you can upload and I'll put the vintage effect on that. Um, let's see what else I use. Um, uh, that's pretty much all I use currently right now. I mean, like this month, that's all I've been using recently is illustrator and make merch and vintage design. And then in over, I'll throw it in there. If I'm online, last, actually last night I, I made like 10 shirts in the, in the vintage app. And then I throw, I was throwing them in over to resize them. And I was just uploading from my phone last night. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, my computer sitting like, right next to me but i was on my phone and i was just like man i'm just gonna do this on my phone and so i just made like 10 shirts and threw them up online on my phone and so i do you know i do stuff like that all the time so yeah it doesn't even matter I, if i have my computer or not yeah i felt pretty good about myself last night i stayed up pretty late actually and i said you know what i'm gonna max out my uploads because you know, i'm at the thousand tier so i was like i haven't done the hundred uploads yet but I, i'll say they were all uh re-uploads from uh ones that have come down so i think between 12 and like 1 30 i did all 100 uploads and then i waited till two when everything cycled over and oh, then wow. I, did, <laughs> I did like 30 more because i was oh, like I, I you know what i let my removals kind of get down like i was down to like 600 and some odd live and yeah. so I was just like, I gotta, I gotta beef this back up because I'm, you know, I'm everywhere else I'm qualified to, to go up to two K, and so, and and then yeah. it got, it got a chance. Um, I'm actually gonna do a review on this. I don't know if you're familiar with this yet. Uh, have you tried Merch Buddy? No, I haven't heard of it. What is it? Um, Merch Buddy. Uh, it it's the best way to say it is similar to, um. Oh my gosh! I just. What's the what's the uploader tool like? I, it, it's the one that helps you know. Basically, the best way I can describe it is it cuts your upload time down in half. So like you can do you know just the you can copy paste. It's oh my gosh, what is it? <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> blow my mind until I think of it. But um, it's the merch uploader. Gosh, I, I'm gonna have to look it up now. But essentially, what merch what Merch Buddy does is it cuts that down that upload time in half, and um, okay. I got an email about it. Uh, maybe yeah, okay. Thank you, American History. Merch Lister Pro. It's similar to Merch Lister Pro. It's got a couple okay. of subtle differences, but um, and if anybody wants to check it out, um, I actually have a link down below in the description to the Gumroad page. It's only like fifteen bucks, and so and it's that's lifetime. I don't know how long it's going to be that, but. Uh, Essentially, it just it cut down on my upload time. I was able to, you know, you can click one button, it pulls up multiple tabs. Um, I, all of my scale designs, I was able to get those up pretty quick. I can just copy and just paste to each uh, listing. It, it cut everything, but uh oh, but what I think got me the best about it was everything that I had in draft mode. They have a skip to review the skip to review option, so oh, you don't wow. have to go through the whole thing again. Like you can just click on it and you'll skip to the review part. And I was like, oh, okay. So that's why I was like, okay, now I have no excuse now. I got to go in and knock out all these designs. But I'm going to do like a, 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 I don't know, I'm going to call it a tutorial, but I'll just do a review on it uh, Monday. Does it cost? Does it cost yeah, or is it free? It's 15 bucks. It's 15 bucks, okay. but it's but it's lifetime. So and, where, can and you buy, where, can you, where can you get it at? It's on Gumroad. Actually, I have a link in the description okay um down below but yeah it's it's uh it's actually great like i said it's, 
it's called Merch Buddy, but um, I, I'm gonna do a full, you know, full thing. I had to get a couple of growing pains out of it because I just kind of, you know, how you do, you get something, you don't read just the instructions. Yeah, <laughs> you just kind of get on there and go. And I was like, man, this crap doesn't work. What's wrong? And then I was like, oh wait, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I think so, uh, what somebody, maybe one of us, when he's the man, there are so many merch programs out there. And we just need to like review them all one day or something. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, American yeah. Yesteryear, is it safe? Uh, yes, it is safe. Um, I did ask the uh, owner. I'm, I'm, I said, hey, you know, is your information stored anywhere? He's like, no, it's everything is stored on your hard drive. And, and like I said, I haven't had any issues with it, you know, so uh, I, I would give it a thumbs up. I'm going to like really go in depth with it. Uh, let's see who else. I, I miss a lot of stuff in the chat. Jeff said he'll see everybody tomorrow for a uh, merch talk. I will be right there. American yesterday also said, uh, I hear you and understand beer me and simple, bold white text on a black t-shirt money in the bank. You're absolutely right. Any drinking shirt. I think you, <laughs> you're, you're pretty good with, but bold text, bold, simple, simple text. That always works. Like I, it, it, you can't beat it. But uh, let's see. Uh, so are you guys killing it with organic traffic or are you just awesome at Facebook ads? I don't know about you, Joe. I suck at Facebook ads. Like, I'm terrible. I only do organic, man. I don't do I don't do any ads at all. I never. Yeah. I don't do it. I, I tried it before, but that was a long time ago. And I just said, forget this. I'll just do organic. And organic's been, been working fine for me. So, Yeah. yeah. I did um I did Facebook ads with Teespring. Uh I think I kind of yeah. caught everything at the downturn. Cause you know that that's changed. Teespring has actually moved more towards concentrating on Instagram. But um I yeah, I just and it sucks because I used to sell advertising and I, I had a pretty good grip on like radio advertising. So like the fact that I could never convert on, you know, Facebook ads always kind of digs at me. But um, I did do very well with AMS. I hate that it's going away the way it is now. But outside of AMS, I didn't do. I don't do any other uh, advertising. I, I do social share. You know, like I have pages for my different niches. But um, I got but, a great idea for you, man. What's up? I'm, go uh, advertise your shirts on the radio. <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, I'm hey. I'll, I'll give it a try at this point. I'll give anything a try. I know everybody. You know, you really know what high. you could do? You could actually, actually, now that I think about it, uh, if you like had a brand, you know, you just put a brand on there. I mean, it's not good. like you said, people are going to take your shirts or whatever, but come with your own brand to say, hey, go check out Nick's shirts on Amazon or whatever. I mean, you never know, you know? So, yeah. Well, you know what? I have like, I have some very specific niche brands that I sell on a couple of marketplaces that aren't like pods, but they're just, they're niche specific marketplaces. Yeah. So I sell based on that. But then I also have like a, a just a general brand that I use to put multi niche things in when I just don't want to, because, you know, I think it looks to me, it looks a little cheesy when it's just like, oh, I'm doing a shirt about daffodils. So, you know, now my brand name is Daffodil Tees. Like, I, 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 and I have a few like that, don't get me wrong, but I have a general brand that I can kind of just put everything under now. You know, and, and it's kind of similar to what, you know, Jeff does with his brand, but, you know, I, I do keep it general on that. I'm a big fan. Do you, do you remember a store called Stephen Berry's? Uh, yeah. I, that's how I envision my general brand. I used to love that store because it had like, everything in it and i was a broke college kid at the time so the fact that all the shirts were 10 bucks were you know was like amazing to me but yeah. uh that's kind of how i envisioned it when i uh when i put the general brand together so uh let's see matt i'll see you later kelly she's leaving <laughs> ah see you later kelly thanks for coming in uh matt says hey matt what's going on uh, let us know when your new podcast comes out, Matt. Uh, thoughts on bulk uploading talk in the past two surveys. Hmm, you want to handle that one? Man, yeah. I've been wondering about um, what they're going to do. I mean, it sounds like they're going to go like the red bubble route pretty much. Like they're just, you're going to upload one design and you get to pick what kind of um, 
designs you want or what ones platforms you want it to go on and they're going to go from there and actually i think that will be great because i spend so much time putting on each one it takes too much time but this will cut the time just by uploading one shirt i hope they do that that means i'll be uploading tons of more shirts you know yeah i mean even if it takes all five say you put one shirt up and it takes still takes the five slots for the standard the premium the long sleeve uh you know sweatshirt and a hoodie if it, even if it still takes up five listings i'm okay with that still uh, they can do that but just hey just let me upload one design and then i can put whatever keywords or if i need to change them or whatever into one slot i'm all for that i hope i hope they do do that that'd be great uh you know what i'm i'm okay with that i'm okay with that i am i honestly more than anything like everybody keeps saying you know oh well, what do you want for merch if if i can get anything from merch if i had a wish list it'd just be one thing let me know for my shirts that have sold what was the keyword that pinged for me that's why i loved ams so much and if oh, wow. i knew that you know that it's a win-win situation because i'll make more shirts that are in that which in turn brings more sales to you which in turn puts more money in your pocket puts more money in my pocket everybody walks away happy you know yeah that's that's not giving us the customer's number or name or anything we just need that you know we can make more yeah. shirts yeah i, I just just let great. me know yeah just let me know what ping and and then maybe when you get some time throw in a tank top i'm i'm and i'm fine with that <laughs> Yeah, so. throw in a tank top. Throw actually throw in a mug. You know, throw, you know what? I've been uploading. Uh, I don't know. I haven't even sold any yet. But to Etsy, I've been uploading pillows just randomly. I don't know why. So we'll just see. Well, you know, they might maybe they'll sell. We'll see what they do. I don't know for sure. I sold a couple of pillows on Teespring's Boosted Network, okay. but it, it hasn't been like a big thing for me. But uh, let's see what else we got here. Reseller Spotlight. Hey, what's going on? Thank you for chiming in uh, american yesteryear says joe did your craigslist campaign ever convert to sales nope i never heard one thing back from anybody so i mean i guess i could redo it and put it back up i haven't done that yet so i was just trying to let it play out and see what it did but nothing ever happened so okay uh jennifer says i'm new to merch and i'm looking to diversify while i'm stuck at 10 tier what do you guys think about the Printful Shopify Amazon integration option or even someone other than Printful? Uh, well, I can I can tell you, Jennifer, um, before I got into merch, before I got accepted to merch, you know, back in the olden days when it took seven months to get approved, uh, I did the Printful Shopify Amazon integration. Um, from a result standpoint, uh, I have a I had a lot more freedom with it than I do currently with merch. Uh, but it, it everything hit a lot of hands before it made its way to you so you know amazon is going to keep because at that point you're selling through your seller central account and, and and that's fine but you know they have their set dates of when you get paid on it so if you have the money to float it to float because you're going to be paying the shopify monthly fee the amazon monthly fee so you're 70 bucks in from the beginning if you're going to go that route, I would say you could try the direct integration with uh, Printful and Amazon, which I haven't tried yet. Just, you know, full disclosure, uh, if it's that much about Amazon. If not, I would definitely recommend that you do the Printful Etsy integration. It's 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 almost flawless. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know any other way to say it. And it's a it's a great clientele. They are used to a higher perceived value. They don't mind paying for the shipping in addition to a higher quality shirt. You know, Joe, what's your thought on that? I would suggest go with the Printful Etsy because I just recently jumped on that in April and I've already, you know, sold like 10, 15 shirts already. And I really, have, I don't do anything, you know? You think you have to do all this, oh, you're like, okay, what? You don't have to do anything. It's almost like merch, but, and you know, I haven't really had to deal with any customer service except for like, one time somebody asked for like a custom th design or to add or a different color, but that was no big deal for me. I changed the color, uploaded it, shipped it to him. Hey, I'll take your money for an extra two minutes of my work. And so, but right. hey, that's nothing. I mean, I really, I think it's simple. It's almost just as simple as merch, you know? I upload my designs, I publish them, people buy them, they take them. I haven't really had to do any work on that printful Etsy side. So 
I'm excited about it. And actually another one thing I do like about it is like, I can just go um, on Etsy like, hey, do you wanna get paid in a week or today? Sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'll get paid today. And so I'll push it. It'll be, the money will be in my bank later on that day. I'm like, hey man, I love this and I'm, I'm excited. So, hey, it works for me. So. Now I, I set mine for the weekly only because I know I, uh, <laughs> from a bookkeeping standpoint, it, it can be like a bit of a nightmare. So I always, I always try to set my, if I have a couple of Teespring sales, I'll try to set my payout around the same time Etsy will disperse funds so that everything just kind of comes in at one time. But yeah. I, I totally agree with you when it's those times where it's just like, oh, no, I probably need that. Let me go ahead and, you know, <laughs> let me go ahead and switch this daily and get my money real quick. Yeah, I mean, I, I just do that for fun sometimes on Etsy just because I'm brand new to it. I mean, just to that principal Etsy. But yeah, I just been doing it just for fun sometimes just to do I'm like, can I really get paid today? And so I'm like, hey, this is cool. You know, because on merch, we're waiting a whole month. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I, I love Etsy. Uh, and, and you're right about the custom orders because I'm huge, huge into that. When they reach out to me, I'm like, hey, I, like I just had a lady. Um, she, my very first seller on merch is also on Etsy now. And just a few weeks ago, you know, she hit me up. She was like, oh, I love this shirt. Do you have it in this color? Through the listing up. Okay, cool. No problem. Okay, I'm going to get this shirt. But then I also want to get a shirt for my uh, little sister. And, you know, she ended up buying three shirts. So it, it was just like, okay, for me to make one quick modification to the design, you know, and, and, and she was ecstatic about it, you know. But I, I'll also say this. If you're, on, if you're a guy, and I talked about this on Merch Talk just a couple of weeks ago. If you're a guy and you're on Etsy, uh, put a picture of your, you and your girlfriend, or you and your wife, or, or, or just, just, or, or your sister, or who, whoever. Just, you know, it just, trust me, it makes a difference. <laughs> it, it makes a big difference, you know. Uh, it's crazy how that works. I mean, yeah. But you know what? I, I've been doing a lot of cross promoting with that too because I've been pinning a lot of my Etsy listings on, uh, on. Uh, Pinterest? Pinterest, yeah. I'm losing my mind today. I don't know why I can't think of names of anything. Like I, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've been doing a lot of pinning and because it's a very similar audience, you know, that's helped yeah. fuel the sales there as well. Yeah, I, I haven't even tried that. So yeah, I, I'm actually really brand new to the Etsy and everything that needs to go into it. Even as the business wise stuff, like um, Matt was asking some questions. So yeah, Matt, I, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm still still working on everything. So uh, once I figure all that out, you know, it'll be good. So yeah, like I, I love it. I think it's great. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the next big pot. I think Etsy's gonna take because of the fact that it's not just a pot; it's a marketplace. Yeah, I think it's gonna hold that number two spot for a while. But that number three spot for me has been kind of teetering like for a while Redbubble was like my Redbubble was actually outperforming merch for a while and then it dropped down to number two and then when I started doing Etsy it dropped to number three and now it's it, it's almost off the list but then Teespring started selling again like crazy and I just I, it, that threw me off I what? never wow what what's this? Uh, I have some shirts on Teespring, but what what what's the strategy? What kind of strategy um, can we do to sell more on Teespring? You know what? The best strategy I can say for Teespring right now would be Instagram, uh, because and, and it's, it's it's funny you say that because I, and I'll go ahead and put it out there now. I'm actually working on a book. Uh, it's going to be two books. One is a basic. Uh, Instagram strategies for print on demand. The other is advanced because they have a new feature where you can actually tag your clothes and it'll go to a listing, you know, mm -hmm. but you connect it with your Facebook shops. I, it's, it's really cool. I've been testing it out and I mean, it's, it's doing well, wow. but the, cause you know, that's always been the biggest thing was, okay, you can see the picture, but you can't click on any links other than in the, the, the profile. That's with the way they're doing this now, that's going completely away. Yeah. Cause I know um, people always say, um you know push up and it'll take you directly to like a youtube link or yeah when you do it in the store yeah absolutely so that you know that's if you go hey you want this shirt push up maybe it'll take you directly to amazon or t or whatever so 
Yeah. And, and, wow. and honestly, with, you know, with the situation with the dogs lately on Amazon, I just I feel a little bit more comfortable with it going uh, going to Teespring. Plus, it's a bigger profit margin. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, it's, it's a much larger profit margin. I, I can sell a hoodie for, you know, 39 bucks on Teespring and make a twenty dollar royalty. So wow. it just it, it's it's a much better profit margin. The, the basic thing I would tell everybody, if you're you're going to have to drive traffic on Teespring and, and they're smart enough to know that they don't have the best organic traffic like they're they're pretty smart about that portion. They're honest with themselves. Look, our organic traffic isn't the best, which is why they created the boosted network. And so if you're looking at. If you're looking at organic sales from Teespring, uh, realize they charge a, a fee for their marketplace. They charge a fee for their boosted marketplace, but their boosted marketplace does give you access to places like Wish and Amazon and Walmart and eBay. Like I, I'm, I'm actually surprised the wow. amount of hoodies I've sold coming from eBay. So uh, you know, wow. I would tell you because they are very good about letting you know, hey, this is going on, this is going on. If you're gonna sell on Teespring, pay attention to their blog. Uh, sometimes they'll run you know campaigns like I know for I want to say it was for Christmas last year is it's a hashtag campaign that they run and you know it's a particular qualifying period and if your listing is properly optimized which they show you how to optimize it for teespring they'll add it to the boosted network on this so like for Christmas I had listing I had pillows that were added to eBay's boosted network and then to um Walmart's boosted network and I saw sales come from that. So really pay attention to their blog and it's got some great information in there anyway. But then also they have a group on Facebook as well called Teespring News, which I would love if merch did that. Like where you can actually go in and you're talking to the employees. Hey, I'm having an issue with this, with this, this. They'll take care of it. Or if they have something coming up that's a big promotion for them, they'll go right to the group and they talk about it there. So that's been the difference maker because I can remember a time and, and largely to do with the fact that I didn't, after I got on merch, I was like, you know, to hell with all the other pods. I'm just going <laughs> to <laughs> concentrate on merch. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I would go months and months without seeing any sales. It's picked back up to where now it'll be a couple of days that'll go by that I might not see sales, but hell for that matter, I have the same thing on merch whenever it's having its moments. So yeah, exactly. I wish I could tell you there's a, a, a secret sauce to it, but for me, where I've converted the most is promoting on Instagram um, and then taking advantage of their boosted network. If you're posting either way on any pod, but you're doing it on Instagram, is it better just to have like uh, one niche idea or is it better to, you can do random shirts or just have like Joe shirts and then you just post whatever? Both. Both? Both. I have, um, I have six Instagram pages. Okay. <laughs> that I, uh, that you I really? do. Okay. I have six Instagram pages and what I do, I have one that's just my general brand, but then I also have the ones that are very niche specific. You get 30 up, to, you get up to 30 hashtags in each one. And for, I would say take advantage of all 30, all 30. And it also helps with your keywords. So uh, American yesteryear, I do let's see some super chat doesn't seem to be activated on your chat. Do you have to en enable it in your settings on your side? You know, I tell you what, do me a favor, save that super that super chat. I really appreciate it. Save it for merch talk tomorrow. Save it for merch talk tomorrow. Yeah, I I, I appreciate it. I, I definitely do. But save that for merch talk tomorrow. Okay. Uh so. Joe's looking at me like, what the hell? <laughs> my, my, pay, my PayPal is... Uh, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but I, I do appreciate it. I, I really do. But, you know... Uh, but, yeah. So, make sure that you... On Instagram, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked for a second. 
make sure on Instagram that what you're doing is you're using all 30 hashtags, but also make sure that you're following people that are within those niches okay. uh, and that are hashtagging those things because, you know, the interaction also helps. Yeah. So when they see you and even if you're just going through and you just like all of the things that they posted in that niche, then yeah. they know like, oh, okay, you know, this person, somebody's looking at me for something. Let me go check it out. And then when you go there, you know, just have your stuff available. I'll also say this though, if, and I know that uh, place it can get a little pricey, yeah. but you know, you can do some lower quality mock-ups you can just do the free ones it's not they're definitely not high res but they're good and they're, they're good enough for instagram so like lifestyle pictures on instagram really work and if you want to make the investment into it if you, if you have it to make i would definitely say make it but like because everybody will just put up a random t-shirt picture but it's those lifestyle pictures that kind of make the difference i've, I've definitely seen a difference in terms of converting uh, with Instagram, with lifestyle pictures versus just the T-shirt mock-up. I'm actually, I'm actually working on something where I, I'm gonna provide like mock-ups. So hopefully that'll be coming soon to merch you designs. So. Man, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be incredibly amazing. And it's all because of stuff that I've been promoting and doing it for myself. So I'm like, man, if I'm wanting to do this, other people are probably definitely wanting this too. So yeah, yeah. But see, I think. And, 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 you know, we have, especially over the last few weeks, we've had all these talks of the quote unquote gurus. I hate that term. I, yeah. I, I, I hate that term. I mean, it, but it's really just <laughs> everybody takes, okay, this worked for me. So if I can help somebody else, try it, it can work for you. And usually the things that we build out are things that are a necessity for us. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's how I got into graphic design because at the time, Little known fact to a lot of people, you know, I spent the last God knows how long without aging myself as a musician. And I couldn't get people to do graphic design for me. And I didn't have the money to pay for it. I was a college kid. So I just said, you know what, screw it. Let me just sit down with these programs and learn it. And that's just kind of how you do. So yeah, mock-ups, absolutely. I wish I had time. Like I, I I hope you do. I'm telling you now, I'm putting this out there. So if if I don't do it, everybody can call me on it. Joe starts a mock-up service. I am subscribing to it. I'm buying from it because <laughs> I wish I had the time to do it. I just, I don't. Like, I, 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 I really don't. Like, I, if I could just do merch, just merch, and, 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 and that's it, I will be, I, I probably wouldn't, I'll be honest, because I like multiple streams of income. But <laughs> I have so many, like, I've managed social media accounts for businesses, and then, you know, I do some coaching on the side for, you know, people who are trying to start up brands and, you know, different things like that. And then I run a virtual call center. So it's like, I wish I had the time to do it. I promise I do, but I, unfortunately, I don't. So if you come up with that service, I'm definitely, you got yeah. my money. Like, yeah, for you, sure. You got my money. Like, you know, so. <laughs> We're coming up on the hour, guys. Uh, Joe, is there anything else, man, that you that you got going on? You want to let us know about? Are you doing another meetup or like another uh, a, like a, a you should do a conference? That should be a Merch University conference, and everybody <laughs> should drive up. If, if you do it, I'm coming. Yeah, man, I should do it. I, I've been wanting to do it. Maybe I could uh, pull it off, man, pretty soon. Coming up, off off the see about it. Uh, uh and, and you know what? You know I do have one, you know who who's going to come? I'm gonna get Michael Essany to come. That's who I'm Man, gonna bring. Yeah. You will pack <laughs> out the building. You will pack out the building. Well, okay, so let's go ahead and put it out there now. Yo, any help you need on it. Let me know. I'm def if nothing else, I'll definitely be there. Yeah, you'll but, be there, man. You you're gonna be a speaker there if you're coming, man. But <laughs> you got you gotta in turn, you gotta come down to New Orleans uh yeah. in march of next year because i'm gonna do a merch conference in new orleans during mardi gras oh gosh called yeah. merchy gras so oh, yeah nice yeah so i and my wife and i started putting it together uh we've already got all we already got the rooms i'm gonna uh i know the place that i want to do it yeah. definitely but uh, I, I want everybody like i want you or i know jeff will not leave the house like i'm gonna have to just go and kidnap him and chris <laughs> but I want you and Margaret and Young and Glenn. I want everybody possible down there, and, and we just tear up New Orleans 
for Mardi Gras and go bar hopping on Bourbon Street or something like that. <laughs> so. Yeah, man. I, actually, I got the chance to go the first time to uh, New Orleans um, last summer. So it was, I liked it. I actually went, I was, we were driving back from Florida to Oklahoma, but man, the day we were there was like the hottest day ever, man. But it was Every fun. day the year is hot. <laughs> 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 I must have, it must have been really hot that day. I was like, oh, man, I was drinking. Yeah. Actually, a lot of places had water, and I was just getting all this free water at all the stores. And I was like, yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. so yeah, that that's that's a definite. So I'm saying it now. You put your conference together. I'm coming up, uh, and, and you definitely got to come down to New Orleans so we can tear it up for Mardi Gras. Uh, yeah, for I, sure. I want everybody to make sure that you are joined in – Facebook's, uh, oh, wait a minute, hold up. Reseller Spotlight, you're from the bio yourself. I was born in Slidell, and I live about, I, I live about an hour from New Orleans now. But uh, but yeah, everybody make sure, if you're not already in Merch University, make sure you join that group. Make sure you subscribe to Merch University on YouTube. Like and subscribe here, Nick Eden. Don't forget, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I've got Merch in a Minute. Uh, 45 Live will be once a week. Uh, Joe, you're back to doing. Uh, you, are you doing a daily vlog yet, or you? you yeah, I yeah. Well, them. kind of, kind of. I I need to start that back in. Yeah, so yeah. So everybody, just definitely make sure. Like, there's a lot of info out there, guys. And when you have somebody that genuinely gives info the way that Joe does, you know, you want to make sure that one, you support his ventures. You know, and, and I'm I'm not an affiliate on any of Joe's stuff. So I'm I'm saying this because it's true support his ventures because he gives so much and he adds so much value to the merch community and, and we appreciate it um like i said this is going to be running about uh, once a week i definitely want to have you back you know and i'll be yeah. tuned into merch talk tomorrow so everybody make sure that you guys are tuned into merch talk with uh margaret jeff joe and chris and uh that's it for the first ever 45 live yes and <laughs> With Mr. Merch University himself, Joe Clay, you guys make sure, like I said, like the video, subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time. Yeah, we'll see y'all later.